So, Craig, we're only a few months uh, from summer now, and we know, you know, with summer, with spring, certainly comes severe weather. How are these changes going to specifically impact the accuracy of forecasts? Well, I think it will be dire and it will take a while for the full effect to be seen because, as you point out, Nicole, the season begins. We're in tornado season now and soon will be the tropical cyclone or the hurricane season. And as you show here, the billion dollar disasters and how weather and climate disasters have combined to really impact a cost to the American people. It costs lives, but it also costs property. And part of the property damage prevention is preparedness. If we can't issue a fully skillful weather forecast to inform the public as to how severe or when these events are going to be happening, severity generally for hurricanes when they're happening is the urgency and immediacy of a tornado forecast. And the types of reductions that are being generated by the doge blind chainsaw cuts are what is going to degrade these forecasts and our abilities. Basically, it's taking our skill level back to where we were in the 1970s. That's not moving America forward. That's endangering America. And I see here you have a, an image, and thank you for showing that, of one of our P-3 Orion aircraft penetrating a hurricane. Now, because of your network and others, the public awareness of the reduction of staff on these hurricane hunters caused some of these mission directors to be brought back on the job after they were illegally fired in the probationary period cuts. So I want to thank you for that. But these these steps that endanger the American public are certainly not helping our citizens enjoy the quality of life and the protections that they have routinely become accustomed to as the weather forecasts become even more and more accurate. Yeah, and we certainly uh, need the work that, that these people are doing. I mean, just watching that video truly started to give me anxiety. Um, with fewer weather balloons going up, what do these balloons actually do? Explain how they work. Weather is surveilled and forecast in a number of ways. We have simple devices that are grounded and, and on the land that are in the forecast stations and nearby that measure the ground and the earth temperature. They measure soil moisture. They measure a number of attributes on the land. We also have satellites that give us the big picture, but the balloons give us that that transect through the atmosphere, measuring the temperature, measuring the wind speed and direction, measuring the pressure, the barometric, barometric pressure. So these are the elements that allow the forecasters to see what's going to come in the urgent and immediate way. In addition, it's those balloon launches that helped to redirect the forecast during Hurricane Dorian. If you recall, a few years ago, President Trump made an, a, a wrongful forecast with a Sharpie indicating where the hurricane was going to go. And Dorian took a hard right went up the coast. The Weather Service knew the Hurricane Forecast Center knew that that hurricane was changing because of the balloon launches. So where we have fewer launches, we are poorly prepared or less well prepared for the forecasts when we don't have these balloons going up through the atmosphere. They read for about five, four, four or five hours of information that's coming back to us. They go up to about 20 miles. That The whole atmosphere is 60 miles thick. They go up 20 miles, about a third of that atmosphere. So they really give us the total picture of what's happening through that air column, that atmospheric column. That's very important for the forecasters, very important to populate the models so we know how, where, and when the storms are functioning or intensifying. Absolutely. Last question for you, Craig. I mean, worst case scenario with these cuts, what do you think happens? I think we, the United States, degrade in our ability to skillfully inform the public on many attributes. Today and tomorrow's weather are one of them. Next week's weather, seasonal weather, the farming community will be impacted with less precise forecasts. The cost of goods, I think, will go up because the risk that is assessed based on climate and weather forecasts, seasonal forecasts and outlooks, whether it's finance, transportation, agriculture, food supply, the uncertainty is something we pay for. And that's one of the reasons why NOAA has been very successful in the weather, climate, and ocean science domain is by reducing that uncertainty, risk costs go down. Mortgages can be stabilized. But when you have more risk, it costs more for the risk that you're posing your property to. It causes risk to the agricultural success of a crop. There's so many facets that this information feeds into. So this is not good for America. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.